Here. For a moment. What? Our journey together has come to an end, Aloy. But before I go, I think I owe it to you to tell you the rest of the story. Go on. Some time ago, I admitted that I'd been involved with the Eclipse. But I never told you the full extent of my culpability. The truth is, I was there at the beginning. I found Hades, Aloy, buried on that mountain, trapped in that shattered titan. And I served it. What? It promised knowledge and delivered. Such knowledge, you have no idea. And in exchange? I helped create the Eclipse. Helped it build a cult, an army to do its will. Why are you telling me this now? Because your success depends on knowing this. When I found Hades, the first thing it wanted to know about was the Spire. Not Meridian. The Spire. Now why would that be? The Spire was created by Gaia. Which part of Gaia? M Minerva. It's code-breaking module. Gaia built spires to transmit the codes that deactivated the Pharaoh robots, shut down their biomatter conversion systems. Hades wants to send a new transmission, to wake the machines so they can devour the world all over again. Yes. Based on what we've learned, that's my conclusion as well. So the Eclipse, the robots they've resurrected, they're just a means to an end. An army to capture the Spire. Yes. So Hades can exterminate life all over again. Unless you stop it. I want you to tell me everything. Hades, the Eclipse. Everything. It's a long story, Aloy. Then get started. It began with a focus. Recovered from an ancient ruin, as yours was so many years ago. In my case... The device was heavily damaged. There was just a flicker of life in it. I spent weeks studying it, attempting repairs, until finally, I succeeded. A whole new dimension of perception revealed, right before my eyes. That's when I detected it. A faint signal. Out there, something was searching, just like I was. A real kindred spirit. I followed the signal to its source. A shattered titan buried in the jungles of the jewel. 
So you thought it was a Titan? An old war machine? I didn't know what to think. I'd seen such wreckage before. The Grave Horde, for example. But this was different. This was not quite dead. It couldn't speak when I found it, until my repairs gave it a voice. So began an exchange of knowledge. It wanted to know everything about our world, its tribes and machines. But the Spire was always its foremost concern. What did it want to know about the Spire? Its precise location, the surrounding geography, who controlled the land. Meanwhile, Hades revealed to me many of the intricacies of ancient technology. It bid me to recover and repair more focuses. Before long, I had a couple dozen up and running. Enough to equip a small army. The commanders of one, anyway. I didn't care. I was learning so much. Physics, calculus. You have no idea. And the Shadow Karja? How did they become involved? The Karja Civil War was a happy coincidence. A perfect opportunity. <laughs> An opportunity? That's what it was to you? Yes. Overnight, half the tribe was in exile, desperate to win back Holy Meridian. Their religion made them easy to manipulate. All I had to do was present Hades as the buried shadow of their mythology. So yes, it was an opportunity. I arranged for High Priest Bahavas to meet with Hades. Helis was there as well. And so the Eclipse was born. Anything to win back Holy Meridian. But Hades didn't care about Meridian. And neither did you. We live in a world of fallen cities and vanished tribes. What were a few more? Besides, I was too busy setting up the cult's focus network to Hades' specifications. <laughs> a thrilling technical challenge, especially with the alterations I included of my own design. <laughs> the ability for you to spy on them. Yes. I may have been foolish enough to serve Hades, but I was never so foolish that I trusted it. I installed what the ancients used to call a back door in the network. Secret access, empowering me to monitor all activity and communications. What made you turn on Hades? It certainly wasn't your conscience. Actually, I was troubled the first time I saw the Eclipse raise an ancient war robot with my technology. I questioned Hades about its intentions. A little late. Indeed. I'd already outlived my usefulness. When I completed work on the Focus Network, Hades summoned me to receive my reward. The next moment, I heard it broadcast my kill order. I've been a fugitive ever since. So when did I come into this? Our path together? When Olin stumbled on you. System threat detected. That got my attention. A kill order against a savage Nora girl? Why would Hades bother with that? But then I saw that this Nora girl was wearing a focus and bore an uncanny resemblance to a great scientist of the old world. Helis moved quickly. I thought you were dead. But then I detected your focus inside the Nora mountain. The more I observed you, the more convinced I became of your extraordinary nature and usefulness. Through you, I could finally discover the secrets of the Earth. I vowed to do everything I could to ensure your success. The rest, as they used to say, is history. The things you've done in the pursuit of knowledge, Silence, pure recklessness. Aloy. This wasn't a confession to elicit your judgment. <sighs> Unbelievable. I've done all I can. From here on out, the rest is up to you. Take my lance. Fit the Master Override to it, and you have a means of injection. Then I just need to get close enough to Hades' skull to stab it in? Exactly. 
Oh, no problem. Silence! Where will you go? Elsewhere. And everywhere. There's so much more to discover before the world ends. And all this? I leave it to you, of course. As it turned out, it was yours all along. I was merely trespassing. that the Eclipse are ready to strike. After what happened with Durval, I know he'll defend the city. But the Spire... slowing. That's all you've got?
Those clamps have the armor locked in place. Maybe there's a way to power up the mechanism, release the clamps. Only two more. Just one more. There we go. The last one. These numbers. All powered up. Now to get the dials in position. There must be some kind of code.
a look at that armor. All right, now let's see what we can do with this material. the Karja without a Sun King. Can we even call ourselves Karja? Are you Galeev? The healer? I had planned to spend the day gazing at the lands of my exile and feeling sorry for myself, but you're not from Sunfall, so this could be interesting. I came from the tent city there. There's a sick girl. Her brother told me about you. The answer is no. What? No, I can't spare the medicine, nor my time to administer it. My resources are already spread thin, thin as the soiled cloths I have to use for dressings. Why won't you help? Look at it from my perspective. What meager goods I can get must be smuggled in. That's expensive. The behemoth's share goes to the military. Of course, there are the demands of the citadel. 
Helis's kestrels are so prone to sticky ends. What's left, that's for the nobles, who can pay well for my services. Look at it from my perspective. A little girl is sick. I think we are calling to each other across an ideological impasse. What's stopping me from just making you do it? I'd have to cause a situation. And you wouldn't harm the only healer disgraced enough to work for the Shadow Karja, would you? Well, we've only just met, but yes, it's tempting. And take it up with the Citadel. They decide who lives and dies. Nothing you can do would compare to my punishment if I use the last of my stock on a tent girl. <sighs> You're kind of an ass, healer. There's no cure for a conscience. But in this line of work, I've built up an immunity to it. And yet, if you feel so strongly about this one girl, perhaps we can make a deal. My charity for a Thunderjaw heart. That's not how charity works. It is how deals work. You'd settle my debts for a while. I already have the part. Wow, we could already have a deal. Quickly now, let's salve your poor conscience. See to the girl, and it's yours. Not before. Oh, please. On my oath, this girl will survive to see our sad future. You and I shouldn't be seen together. Go on to the slums ahead of me. I'll find you presently. You do stand out in a crowd. you. Hello again. I've brought someone to see your sister. How did you... What did we do to deserve... No, wait. I don't even want to ask, in case a shadow passes over and it's gone. Smart boy. She'll have his full attention, won't she? Once I'm freed of other distractions, yes.
Meridian. Aloy, what brings you to Meridian? A threat. Helis commands a legion of fanatics called the Eclipse. They will attack soon from the west, with an army of ancient war machines. But that's not the worst of it. They'll bring a mind with them, god, demon, machine, whatever you want to call it. It's called Hades. And it doesn't want Meridian at all. It wants the Spire. And if it gets there, it will send out a call, waking more ancient machines, more than we could ever defeat. All will be lost. We can't let that happen. I'm trying to understand, but my responsibility lies with Meridian. Meridian isn't the target of Odd. You have to defend the Spire. Perhaps the Vanguard, your Radiance. Yes, send them to the Spire. Aaron knows Aloy. He won't question it. And have the city guard fortify the western ridge. There they can be seen to protect Meridian and the Alight, where the Spire rests. Aloy. Allow me to... apologize for my behavior before. After everything that happened with Ursa, I was confused. If we're to fight together on the brink of life and death, I'd prefer to do so with your forgiveness. Then you have it. As long as you don't confuse me with her again. Even a king can learn his lesson. Good then. I'm, I'm glad that's behind us. Now, it will take time to prepare our defenses. Please, tell me what you know of our enemies. Everything. I don't know about everything, but I'll tell you what I can. Quietly does it. Panic in the city will only create another enemy. And do keep me appraised of each new arrival. Ah, Aloy. Preparations are underway on the ridge of defenses and at the spire. Word was sent to every corner of the Sundom. Our allies offered their steel. Some came for Meridian, others for shards. But many came for you, by name. For me. Don't be so humble. The ridge will be the front line. That's where the city guard are holding? Yes. Bolstered by some of the uh, irregulars I spoke of before. The Osaran cannons that thundered Meridian's walls in the Liberation will now defend us. You're welcome to tour the defenses. And the Spire. Erend and the Vanguard are there? Indeed. Uh, clashing breastplates together and testing out their battle cries, I suppose. A number of the Nora have also arrived at the Spire. They have resisted the offer of a royal audience. Perhaps you could parlay with them. I will. I suppose all we can do is wait for the attack. Exactly. It's not a feeling I cherish, but our spotters at Evening Sign report there's still no movement in the West. So, if there's more you need to do elsewhere, seize this time to do it. Otherwise, I've made the apartment of Olin Delverson available to you. You can sleep there, if sleep comes. Round 
Ellie Carter, do not let Meridian fall into our I have a matter of grace and beauty I would like to discuss with you. Polish that armor, is it? Of course. Isn't that a little... Alita, I'm, I'm pleased to see you, but what are you doing here? I'm helping prepare for the battle. If a troll were here, we would have fought together. I know it. So I'm doing everything I can. Digging battlements, collecting herbs, anything that makes a difference. I can't take his place. Nothing can take his place. I understand what it was he- will always be with me. Sun and shadow still meet for a moment. I should give you this. To help in the battle. Thank you, Elite. Always stay bright, always stay alive. Right. Aloy! I told you I'd be here. You did, Teb. But have your wounds even had time to heal? Honestly, if I fought, I'd probably come undone. But don't worry. I'll leave that to the other Nora at the Spire. I brought supplies instead. These Karja have made me an honorary quartermaster, whatever that means. <laughs> it sounds impressive. I could get used to it. We'll be setting up caches of arms and medicine under these banners. Look for them when the fighting starts. Aloy? When you went into the mountain, did the goddess tell you our chances? She didn't need to. I know we can do this, Teb. Maybe we can. This place really couldn't be any different. How many men do you think you'll kill in the battle, Luther? As many as I have. It's always the ones you least I love it when you say things like that. It's so... What? Cheerful. <sighs> Little Huntress, you called, so here I am. Ready to fight? Fight? I thought you just wanted tea and conversation. Is there a battle coming? I wasn't informed. Well, that can't be true. You're always informed. Ah, so I am. We've only met a few times, and yet you... I don't think I know you at all. Hmm. When I hear that line, it usually means some... Can I tell you a secret? Of course. 
I've been waiting for this fight. The enemy we face today is the same that turned Meridian into a slave pit, and some fanatics who torture and murder mothers, fathers, families, children, and say it's the... I hate them, Aloy. I've got the scars of their whips on my back to prove it. And today, we can get rid of them once? I said I came for you, but that was only half the truth. I can't... I'm with you, Vanasha. And I won't forget it, little huntress. I only fight when I have to, but by the time I have to, I usually want to. I had to take over my brother's ship today. Sure as the sun's rising, he's off courting that noble girl. I didn't expect you to come all this way. It's true, I am a stranger in this green and snowless land. Aurea forgave the Karja, but I never... Still, I was compelled to come for my once chieftain. It's good to see you leading again. This young ice hunter seeks to prove herself also. Her spark reminds me of Aurea's in our youth. And I'm proud to take my place behind you on this hunt. Survive and prevail, right? There is no... You're the hunter from the Banuk Grove. I remember you also, Nora. The machine shook for... Uh, well, that, that wasn't my fault. No, I'm thanking you. That night, I decided I would knock so many machines, even demons. Our enemies dug up an, an army. Yet... Talana, why are you here? I'm your hawk. Where else would I be? Defending Meridian with Avad? I leave that to the rest of the Lodge. I will not stand aside while one of mine fights alone. Not again. Are you sure you... You're risking your life for all of us. You can't ask me to stand by and watch. Not when I have the power to change it. Then I won't ask you. It's settled. I will fight by your side. Name it. Leave the biggest machine for me. No promises. Rises taller than the highest tree. Please come. War Chief Sona. War Chief, you, you seem uncomfortable. The Nora do not belong here. I do not belong here. I will fight the metal devil that threatens us all. But my place is in the sacred land. The wrongness here jags at me like an arrowhead. I'm sorry to put you through this. Do not be sorry. 
This will be ended. My spear, my word. The Karja do not impress me. The build so tall is to invite the fate of the ancients. Greetings, Aloy. Don't. You don't need to bow. The anointed doesn't like it. She doesn't much like being called anointed, either. It means a lot to have you here, Varl. I gave my word. So, Meridian, what do you think? I've seen... many new things since I first met you. I should thank you. Varl, what's wrong? You really want to know? All right. I'm in a foreign land, a tainted land, defending a faithless city that looks like nothing I've seen from something I can't imagine. And you, after all that's happened, all you've done, I feel like I should drop to my knees and worship you, but I know you don't want that. Boy, things are pretty tough for you, huh? Thanks for telling the other Nora not to bow. It's the last thing I need. <laughs> don't be too hard on them. They only joined this fight because the anointed bid it so. Is that why you came? No. I would have come just to see you one more time. And we must fight a metal devil, because the goddess says, or because you say. I think the goddess and I are in agreement. We're both glad you're here. So am I. So who are these guys? They call themselves the Eclipse. Aloy. <laughs> so here we are again, gearing up for a fight. Only this time it sounds like the bad guys have a lot more firepower. What are we up against, really? I'm not sure. But there's gonna be a lot of them, and they'll have machines. And if they get past us, it's not just Meridian that will fall. The rest of the world will go with it. That's... big. It sounds like our kind of fight. Right, guys? Well, where do they put the vanguard? At, At the, the front of the line! line. And why? Steel, Steel before iron. iron! And what are we gonna do? Hit him like a hammer till he can't hit, hit back. back! Damn right! You hear that? Nobody's getting past the vanguard. We're here for Meridian. And we're here for you. Thank you, Erend. Ursa would be proud. Only if we win. That's a nice spear, Uthid. Thank you. 
I like the way you grip it. How much Osteron influence at the palace? What's he thinking, letting Duval live? I only fight when I have to. But by the time I have to, I usually want to. Huh. So you must be Aloy, then. I thought there'd be more of you. More of me. Thicker, I suppose. More of a gear wheel, less of a ringlet. Don't get me wrong, you're very well- Do all Osirim flirt at the most inopportune time? Inopportune? Battle hasn't even- Petra Forge Woman. I hail from the Free Heap. I'll be heading back in the neck. Murad asked me to check over the city arsenal first. Cannons have aged well, but I've cleared their throats so they can really roar. Can I try one? Everybody wants a turn. It hits nice and wide. No need to aim like a bow. Should give me the upper hand. Range is good. Try the next. Knock a machine on its ass, ancient or no. With these, I think we could hold off an army. Thank you, Petra. I'll let you finish up. Honest metalwork is hardly work at all. Look after yourself, flame hair. <laughs> 